What's up? Welcome to another episode of Real Gamer Views. I'm Boogie, and this is Jedi. And this week we played Kingdom of Amalur, The Reckoning, mm -hmm. and Darkness Two. Poop Two. Poop Two. Poop Two. That's what it was. Now, first we're going to go ahead and do a Jedi's review of Poop Two. The Darkness Two was a cool concept, but so was the first one, and this one is also a big letdown. Just like his predecessor, there's not a lot of good to say about this game. The different fatalities that you could unlock and the launching poles of your enemies and sticking them to walls far off was probably the best thing about this game, with the exception of the story. It's a great story and concept, but poorly executed. From the fumbling controls to the horrible cell shaded graphics. Whoever told these game developers that shell that excuse me, it's a tongue twister. Cell shading was a good idea should be fired. If any important people in the gaming industry happen to be watching this show, please stop with making your graphics look like shit on purpose. I give this second attempt at what could have been a great game a 5 out of 10. Save your time and money for a good game. So Darkness 2 was pretty much just crap, huh? It was. It was horrible. It had good, like I said, it had good, like, a good premise. Just like the first one did. Yeah, it's got a good concept. The graphic novels, the little comic books they made, were mm -hmm. awesome. Do not live up to the game, does not live up to it at all. Yeah, and, and good, that's disappointing. It is, because they could have done so much better with the game. Yeah. Well, um, we're going to talk about this week's episode of The Testers 3. Which is really ridiculous. Which was ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what the judges were watching. They were even paying attention to the show at all, or sitting on their tool their thumbs. And uh, David Jaffe was the special the guest, guest judge, the creator of Twisted Metal, Metal. Well, the Twisted Metal and God of War and series. God of War. Mainly known for God of War. Mainly known because yeah, well, Twisted Metal. Because God of War is better than Twisted Metal. I mean, Twisted Metal was good on PS2. Um, but I don't know what they were watching. The way the show came out was really disappointing. Yeah, because if y'all watch the show, y'all know who should have got voted off because she spoke Spanish when she shouldn't have to yeah. somebody that don't speak Spanish trying to give instructions yeah. in Spanish. If I'm working in as, as a team with you, don't start speaking Swahili. I'm going to start speaking Swahili. Don't start, don't start. What, what do I do? Start what thinking, do? and I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to do my review of MLR. Kingdoms of MLR Reckoning. So here it is. What's up, guys? Boogie here. This week I played Kingdom of MLR Reckoning. What a great action RPG. It has a great story, which is set in Amalur, of course. This place is full of history. The story was written by R.A. Salvador, and some of the design work was done by Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn. The world is big and immersive, and the fighting is as good as the storytelling. I can't really find much wrong with the game. The story, the graphic, the voice acting, and the fighting were all top-notch. A couple of bugs and some bad camera angles aside, this might be one of the best RPGs ever. I'm giving Kingdom of MLR a 9 out of 10. Great game with as many hours, if not more, than Skyrim. And a little side note, just a shout out to the developers. Can we get an RPG where we can have two players? I think it would be a blast to play games like Fallout, Skyrim, and Reckoning with one other person. So, MLR was a really good game. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's as big, if not bigger, than... Uh, Skyrim was, it's like, not the map size, but they actually had uh, a couple developers try to speed through the game, do, you know, a speed run. It took them 200 hours. Well, no, that, it's, it's supposed to be based on a graphic novel, so there's probably going to be... No, it's not a graphic novel, it's a novel. Or a novel. Yeah. But there's, 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 there's probably going to be more. Yeah, there's 10,000 years of history. Before they started making the game, there was already 10,000 years worth of history in this book of Amalur. So, I mean, uh, that's how in-depth the storyline is, you know. It's a game based on a Bible. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a great game, dude. It's an amazing game. A lot of fun. And we're, we played another great game, or I played another great game. Right. Gotham City Imposters. I mean, it's... Well, I won't say. Well, we'll just tell you about it. We'll just guess it. All right, guys, what's up? Boogie and Jedi here. We're going to do... Uh... Gotham City Imposters together on this one. I didn't play the game. I did. did. 
uh, have to say it was a blast. I mean, it was a lot of fun. The graphics kind of remind me of uh, Modern Warfare 2. With Jokers and Batmans. With Jokers and Batmans. There's a lot of little gadgets you can play with. You can get a grappling hook or wings. And when you have the wings and you hit a jump or you hit one of the things that lift you up in the air, you can actually do a dive bomb, come down and kill somebody that way. You know, you don't have to just use your gun. You know, you do have a gun and you have a backup gun, which is usually like a rocket or a shotgun or something like that. And the rockets were like pop bottles. Yeah, and pop bottles and... Energy and, drinks. Yeah, it's not regular rockets. Right. It's... Um... It's a Joker style. Yeah, and you, your grenades aren't just grenades. You have impact grenades. You have boomerangs. You have hatchets. Jack um, in the boxes. Jack in the boxes, which act like uh, bouncing betties. You know, um, you have everything in there: it's sniper rifles, shotguns, machine guns, LMGs, SMGs. Yeah, attachments for them, just yeah. like you would in yeah. Call of Duty. Red dots. Um, you kind of had a perk system, like you would in Call of Duty, um, where you got to do. You know, a little extra stuff like more bullet damage or you can't be seen on the mini-map. Stuff like that. It was, I think, one of the funnest downloadable games I've ever played in my life. I mean, it was a blast. You you just get points by just sitting on top of rooftops and scouting out other people's positions for your teammates. Yeah, that's what I was doing mainly when I, when I first started and I forgot, unlocked my first gear attachment. Uh, or not attachment, but first gear I could get. I, get the, I got these goggles that could help you see the other team. And pretty much all I did to get points and level up quicker so I could get more stuff, better stuff, was set back, look through these goggles. It actually shows you where the team are, and it shows everybody else that's on your team where this team is. And every time they shot somebody you had goggled, it gave you 100 points. So I was just sitting back and showing everybody where they are at, and they're going to run over there and kill them. How many points did you get for killing somebody, though? Like 150, so... Yeah, so you're getting just as many points as as if you killed them. Yeah, it's pretty much an assist, but with a target thing. You get grappling hooks and it's it's amazing. Big it's slide ropes and roller skates. I mean everything. It's, I didn't see the roller skates. Yeah, it's funny because you can actually hit little ramps and go flying through the air. The roller skates. It was a it was a really good game. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast with it. And I still have to download it. I would definitely. I mean, I would give it a nine nine and a half out of ten for a downloadable oh. game for the money you're going to spend on it. You know, you spend very much money for the game itself. There is a lot of DLC for the game. But it's all costume stuff. You can earn it yourself by playing the game, or if you just want to have it, you can buy it with Microsoft or PSN stuff points. But I mean, have it on, is it on PSN also? Yeah, it's on everything. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a really good game. I would definitely suggest playing, buying, playing, having it. <laughs> Getting your friends to play it. Definitely insist on you getting this game. Yes, get this game. <laughs> it is fun. Thanks for watching this week, guys. We have one. We hope you did too. Catch us next week. We'll be playing UFC Undisputed Three, and we'll be playing Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. Man, I gotta say, uh, I'm tired of your Yoda staring at me. What did Yoda do to you? I didn't tell you something happened. What'd you do? Did you go to the dark side? What'd you do? Did you go to the dark side? Ha, 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 ha.